I spent the last three years photographing some of the most vulnerable Syrian refugees who fled the war to Lebanon. It's been a year since my last visit. Now I've come back to see how the families I photographed are coping. So I'm more to see a family that I met two years ago. Um, and it was actually one of, the, one of the saddest stories I saw that, that visit young mother who'd been paralyzed from the neck down. Yeah, it's good to see you. <laughs> I was hoping things had improved, but I found Khalud and her husband Jamal in the same tent with their four young children. I'll be honest, I didn't expect to find you still living here. It makes me sad that the situation is the same. Khalud was shot by a sniper whilst collecting food. She's paralyzed from the neck down. She hasn't left this tent in two years. Khalud needs constant specialist medical support, but for much of her care, she has to improvise. <laughs> I showed them the photo I took of them two years ago. You know, whenever I look at this photograph, I always see the relationship between the two of you. As a photographer, in many ways, you feel powerless. I can only tell you what I see. I can only be a witness to what I see. I've seen some of the greatest humanity, some of the best in humanity in those refugee camps.